Hugged it, but I don't feel any better, though, about this box. Nah, it didn't help. So Luke Crate is slowly sending out past boxes that they've owed us for upwards of six months now, which is nice. I appreciate it because people like me paid for an entire year in advance with the promise that we will get our boxes. So I'm getting them very slowly, but I'm getting them. So this one is the July 2019 Marvel, what's it called? Gear and Goods Box. July. What was that, five months ago? So five months late, but at least I got it. So I think I paid for a full year of this back when we had a 50% off code back in February of 2019. So I got like an entire year for like 20 bucks a box shipped. So it was a fantastic deal. I mean, just the shirt alone, this box, just a shirt should pay for the whole value of the box. So this is only my second box. They owe me four more still as time goes on. So they, this is an every other month box. So they still owe me then September's box and November's box. Then it'll be like January's box and then next March's box, right? Something like that. Yeah. So here we go. I'm pretty sure they still are offering this for new subscribers because Loot Crate, like I've said before, was bought out by the NECA company. I think it was, yeah, by NECA, who uh, was financed by Money Chest LLC. So Loot Crate's trying to come back under you know a new owner and the last few boxes i got for them yeah it was all stuff just thrown together randomly into boxes but it's been good decent value so i mean as long as loot crate fulfills all my boxes and they keep making new boxes i might actually renew some of my subscription because because i canceled them all after you know the whole debacle the bankruptcy with loot crate but people want to see on youtube honest reviews of what they get because these weren't given to me. I bought these with my own money. I bought these. These This is not free, not sponsored, my money. So here we go. Marvel, gear and goods. I feel a t-shirt, a stuffed animal, maybe a cup or figurine in a box. Let's pull this monthly pin first. Let's start small. And we got... Um, Howard the Duck. Clam up, will ya? Clam up, will ya? Clam up, will ya? Okay, so, eh. Not a huge fan of the pen. I'm not really a, much of a fan of the Howard the Duck character. Never really resonated with me well as a fan of Marvel. But this pen, is, this pen is a 2019 pen, so this actually is a brand new pen. This is not recycled from a previous box. So, I mean, but if you are a fan of Howard the Duck, it's a good, heavy, big pen, but... I'm just not a fan of that character. Let's see. Let's pull the t-shirt next. It's black. Good. I like my black t-shirts. Hopefully it's kind of awesome. Show you first. Who do we get? <sighs> this is actually from an old loot crate because I actually already have this t-shirt. I actually I wore it in videos I recorded last week. You'll, you'll see him. Yeah, so I don't hate it that I got this shirt again, but this is not a new, new t-shirt. They actually had these on sale at the Loot Crate store right before uh, they went bankrupt. They had them for like two bucks a piece on clearance, trying to get rid of them. And so they just dumped the rest of them, look like in this Marvel box. So that kind of stinks, but it is a cool t-shirt. It's Black Panther. It's a cool t-shirt. So... I'll keep this one because actually mine I have right now I actually wear quite a bit. Once it wears out, then I'll break out this new one. So I don't hate it, but it is a shirt that I received in a Loot Crate box back in 2018. So upwards of 18 to 24 months ago, I got this shirt. So that's an old shirt. That stinks, but at least I got, at least I got this box. Let's pull out the next thing. We got a little plushie. We got the Incredible Hulk. The company is Funny, P-H-U-N-N-Y, Funny, Punny, Puny, Funny. Let's we'll call it Funny. So, I'm sure this is probably recycled from a previous box. It was made back in, doesn't tell. It's actually made by Kid Robot, actually. Yeah, I mean, it's not bad, but this is just a little like plushie that you'll get from like a claw machine at Walmart. 
machine that you put like two bucks into or a buck and you get like two or three tries with with, with the claw. That's that kind of quality of toy plush animal, so. Okay, next. Is that it? Okay, there's two more things. Okay, I thought there was only one more. There's, 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 there's two more. Okay, we've got, this is an exclusive to Gear and Goods 2019, manufactured by Just Funky. Tigra mug. Um, that's okay. Honestly, I won't keep it. It's okay though, but eh. It actually was made for this box though. It was actually made for the Marvel Gear and Goods, made in 2019. So this is not recycled from a previous box. This is brand new for this actual loot crate box. So that is nice that at least, you know, this wasn't recycled, rehashed, re not restocked, but re-released from their their backstock. Most everything in this box so far, what a, no, the shirt, you know, they're trying to sell on their Loot Crate store for two bucks and they couldn't sell them out, so, eh. Okay, last item in this box. Oh, we got two things in here, it says. Is that a cheat sheet? Yeah, it is, the cheat sheet. Inside what it looks like. So here's the last item, it says, Beauty and the Beast Original Sketch Prints. Let's see. Um, not sure what that is. Drawing a blank. Not sure. That was kind of cool. We got the Incredible Hulk right there. This is these are just like art print. They're not like original art. You know, they're not autographed. They're just art print pictures. Then we got oh, is that Swamp Thing or Man Man Thing? Okay. And we got uh, what was that Nighthawk, right? Okay, so let's see what the cheat sheet says. I uh, well, overall, not too impressed with this box, even at half price. Eh, not too impressed with it. Here's the cheat sheet. Beauty and the Beast is the theme of this. It's a tale as old as time, or at least as old as comics. Beauty and the Beast. We're celebrating Marvel characters who take their cues from the animal kingdom or just exude downright primal power with this collection of savage gear. You got the Tigra mug combining beautiful and beastly gear. I can't read that. Demons, supervillains, blah, 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 whatever. Incredible Hulk plush. Hulk may love to smash with incredible plush is more than cuddling. Give the Jade not so giant a nice hug. Hugged it, but I don't feel any better, though, about this box. Nah, it didn't help. Find it whenever you get yourself too angry. So, okay. Then Black Panther t-shirt as King of Wakanda. Let's see, where is this mantle, Black Panther? Now you can give your wardrobe a real upgrade with a stylist T. Okay, they should have put down on this that this is not an original to this box. This is from a 2018 Loot Crate box that they had a thousands left over so they just dumped it into this box should have been honest with that they usually they're kind of good sometimes on the cheat sheet they'll, they'll, they'll put down this is a past favorite or this was a past exclusive aka we just pulled stuff out of storage that we can't get rid of so we're just going to dump it in this box art prints yeah and then Howard the duck pen yeah so my views in this box honestly you could have bought this t-shirt on clearance when they went bankrupt for two bucks and they, they're on clearance, and they still couldn't sell them out, hence why they're now in this box. So, honestly, this is worth two bucks, because you could have bought as many as you wanted for two dollars a piece. That's worth two bucks. The original, it's called them sketch prints, but this is just basic art prints. This whole package, like, ten... Can't get them out now. Ten bucks, let's say. Five to ten bucks. 
the pen. I'm gonna say these two things about ten bucks for these two. So here we're looking at like twelve dollars. We got this Hulk plush quality on this thing. It's like it's like from like a claw machine. You know, this is gonna be worth maybe like five bucks tops on clearance. So right there, we're looking at seventeen dollars. This coffee mug, which is probably the nicest thing in the in the box, but I don't really care for it though. Just not my style. Ten bucks for the coffee mug. So we're looking at probably about twenty-seven dollars of value in that range. I could even be nice and say thirty dollars of value. This box, brand new, cost forty bucks. So they did not give you even value what you paid for this box. I got this box for half price at twenty, so I got more than what I paid for it. But yeah, not impressed with this box. But this this was a box that they 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 just threw this threw it in here just to get it out to fulfill obligations from people who paid for a year in advance. So at least I got the box, not the best box. We'll try again next time. So I'll see you next time. I'm out. <laughs>